During the LEM program at Blenheim Gilboa in 2006, during the first unit, it was discovered that there was a problem with the rim of the rotor on uh, unit two. So there was a lot of debate over you know, what, what was causing this issue with the rotor sagging, and uh, was it indeed a problem that had to be dealt with, and if so, how? So the Power Authority, under uh, the leadership of our engineering department, uh, studied the issue for several years and eventually came up with uh, the concern that it really was an issue that could eventually lead to cracking of what's called the ledges. If they fail, that structure can move. So you could have a, a quick collision between the rotating parts and stationary parts of the machine. Um, in any case, you would have uh, very significant damage if, if the crack is allowed to continue and the parts drop through. We consult with Hitachi. Uh, Hitachi reported that they never repair any of their units uh, with the similar problem. So NIPA put a plan in place to uh, come up with a fix for the problem, uh, which we had to do independently using our own consultants uh, since the manufacturers did not have a suggestion on what to do. Fortunately, we, we all worked together, so we identified this problem. Our team, GE, their subcontractors, project management um, from NIPA, engineering from NIPA, all the site staff, it was one of the best teams we've had uh, to quickly work around the clock like this to put a machine back together again. Working on a very important machine that we need to get back in service quickly is definitely a lot of pressure to get it done that quickly. Fortunately, we understood the basic problem before the crack actually occurred. So we were at least psychologically ready for the kind of repair that we would have to do. That was important. This was an excellent demonstration of NIPA's ability to identify problems uh, with uh, machinery before anyone else in the industry was able to, and then also to put a plan in place within a matter of months uh, pull off a repair that should have taken uh, several years to put in place. We have every reason to believe that all four machines are the same. And I, I'm sure we'll take some of the um, ledges that we remove and probably cut them up and examine them to exactly see what's going on so we can understand the fracture and fatigue phenomena better in these machines.